This is lesson 16. Use divide by 10 patterns for multi-digit whole number division. This problem reads 420 divided by 10. I'm going to use number disks to show my 420. These are each 100. And then I'll have two tens disks. So now I have 420. I know that 100 divided by 10 is 10. So if I have 400s divided by 10, I'll have four tens. And I know that 10 divided by 10 is 1. I have two tens, so I will have two ones. This shows that 420 divided by 10 is 42. Let's look at this problem another way on our place value chart. We started with 420. We're dividing by 10. When we divide by 10, our digits will move one place value to the right. Our four in the hundreds place becomes four tens. Our two in the tens place becomes two ones. We have an answer of 42, which matches our answer that we figured out using our number disks. So we've shown in two ways that 420 divided by 10 equals 42. This time we're asked to solve what is 1,600 divided by 100. First, we're going to solve this problem using our disks. We have 1,000 divided by 100, then we have 6 hundreds divided by 100. When we have 1,000 divided by 100, we get 10. If we just had 100 divided by 100, we would get 1, so we have 6 ones. 4, 5, 6. Our answer, 10 and 6 ones is 16. 1,600 divided by 100 is 16. Now we'll look at the same problem in our place value chart. We are dividing by 100, so we move two place values to the right. Our 1,000 moves to the tens place. Our 600s moves to the ones place. 1,600 divided by 100 equals 16. This problem is similar to the ones we've just done, except instead of just multiplying by 100, we're divide, we're, instead of dividing by 100, we're dividing by 600. We're going to decompose our 600 so that we can look at 24,000 divided by 600 could be the same as 100 and 6, so we can divide by 100 and then divide that by 6. 24,000 divided by 100 would be 240. 240 divided by 6, I use my basic facts, 24 divided by 6 is 4, and then I have 10 still. 240 divided by 6 is 40. Looking at my original division sentence then, 24,000 divided by 600 equals 40. In this problem, we are again going to decompose our divisor, our 9,000, into 1,009. So we'll start with 180,000 divided by 180,000, divide by 1,000, and we'll divide that by 9. 180,000 divided by 1,000 would be 180. 180 divided by 9, I use my basic fact, 18 divided by 9, and that's 2, but it wasn't 18 divided by 9, it's 180 divided by 9, my quotient, therefore, is 20. 180,000 
divided by 9,000 equals 20.